Hi there, everybody. Sam here. And this is episode 38 of the Victor Prep Vocab Podcast. Let's briefly cover episode 37's words. Those were apathy, apathy. That means a lack of interest, enthusiasm, or concern. It can also mean lack of interest for something that you used to find interesting or that other people find exciting. Iniquity, iniquity. That means immoral or greatly unfair behavior. It can also mean sinfulness. Analogous, analogous. That means comparable in certain respects, usually in a way that makes clear at the nature of the things that you're comparing. And our final word was ingrate. Ingrate. That simply means a person who is ungrateful. So before we get started on the new words, just a quick update about the podcast. I'm really trying super hard to record a bit more often. I work a very busy job. I'm a software engineer at a video game company. And as part of my job, I'm responsible for servers staying alive, basically staying up. And that often means I work late hours or I might work nights and sometimes weekends too. So it's it's kind of difficult for me to keep really regular with the schedule. But I do want to keep a regular schedule. Some people have emailed me saying they want me to do more podcasts and more often. And I really understand that. And I want to do that too. So I am trying... I'm trying to <laughs> spend a bit less time working at home, working from home, which is hard sometimes. But yeah, I am thinking about that and I am trying. And I have some other new things planned too, so I'll let you know about those when, it, when they come around. Anyway, we have four new words. Let's start with abstain. Abstain. That's spelled A-B-A-B. S-T-A-I-N, stain, abstain. Abstain means to stop yourself from doing something. And it usually implies stopping yourself from doing something that you might enjoy. So you might abstain from eating chocolate. So you stop yourself from eating chocolate for health purposes or maybe to lose weight. Or you could abstain from smoking you're stopping smoking. Abstain also has another meaning related to voting. So if there's an election and you were perhaps going to vote in the election and then you say, oh, I'm going to abstain from voting, it means you are formally declining from voting. Another example is a vegetarian. A vegetarian is someone who abstains from eating meat. They are stopping themselves or restraining themselves from eating meat. Some synonyms are refrain from, desist from, hold back from, and forbear. Our second word is harangue. Harangue. It's spelled H A R. A-N-G-U-E. Harangue. So, harangue can be used both as a verb and as a noun. Now, if you're using it as a noun, so the harangue, it means a lengthy and aggressive speech. Those of you who have been following the podcast will note that this is similar to polemic. And in fact, it is. It is a synonym of polemic. So, polemic is a strong verbal or written attack on something, and harangue is similar. It usually means a lengthy and somewhat aggressive speech. Some synonyms are tirade, diatribe, lecture, polemic, rant, broadside, attack, and onslaught. It's also important to note that harangue can also be used as a verb. So you can harangue someone. Now, if you harangue someone, you are 
lecturing them in a somewhat aggressive and critical manner. So if you ever had a teacher who, if anyone did anything bad, they would lecture you in a somewhat aggressive, maybe very critical or mean manner, they were haranguing you. So some synonyms of the verb harangue to harangue are rant at, hold forth to, lecture, or shout at. So if you've ever been in a big city, you may have encountered one of those people who stand on the street and is giving a lengthy or aggressive speech in favour of their particular political viewpoint or their particular religion. And if you try and get involved with those people on the street, you can often end up in an argument with you and they will harangue you. They will lecture you and probably be quite aggressive and maybe critical of your beliefs. Our third word is sporadic. Sporadic. It's spelled S-P-O-R, spore, A-D-I-C, addict, sporadic. It's an adjective, and sporadic means occurring at irregular intervals, or rarely. So, if you live in a place where it rains sporadically, it means you never quite know when it's going to rain. So, it may rain once one week, then it might rain all the next week, but then it might not rain for a month. So you never know when it's going to rain. It's not common, it's not rare, it's more random, it's sporadic. Some synonyms are occasional, infrequent, irregular, scattered, patchy, and isolated. You could also say a plant was growing in an area sporadically. It means the plant is growing in isolated locations, or perhaps only occurring in single spots, or perhaps widely apart. For example, let's say you're walking through field after field and everything is the same, and then you encounter a gooseberry bush. Gooseberry is a type of fruit that looks like hairy green grapes that are super bitter. Anyway, you encounter one gooseberry bush. Then you walk for another five miles and you encounter another gooseberry bush. You may say that gooseberries were growing in that area sporadically. It means at isolated places or scattered about. And our final word today is caustic. Caustic. That's spelled C-A-U-S-T-I-C. Caustic. Caustic means able to burn or corrode something by chemical action. So generally speaking, if there's some sort of chemical substance that's capable of burning or dissolving through a chemical action, then that could be described as being caustic. An example of that would be a chemical called sodium hydroxide, for all you chemists out there, also known as lye or caustic soda. This chemical in stronger concentrations can decompose the proteins and fats in living tissue like our skin and that can cause chemical burns or otherwise damage you or damage any organic matter. So that is the chemistry term caustic. Caustic also means to be very sarcastic in a mean or scathing or bitter way, which if you think about it, is similar to its other meaning, which is to burn or corrode by chemical action. Because if you burn someone sarcastically, that's (laughs) related, if you see what I mean. So if you've ever made a very sarcastic or mean comment about someone, or if someone's made a sarcastic and mean comment about you, that is also to be caustic. So some synonyms are sarcastic, cutting, biting, mordant, sharp, bitter, scathing, derisive, sardonic, 
ironic, scornful, acerbic, and I probably should strongly advise you not to make caustic comments to people if you want to make friends, because being caustic or being sarcastic with people usually hurts. So yes, that is the meaning of caustic. One small note about the origin of this word, which is quite interesting, comes from a Greek word, caustikos, which comes from the word caustos, which means combustible, which comes from the idea of burning. So the origin of this word does mean to, to burn, basically. So if you burn someone with your words, you are being caustic. Now we're done with all four of our words, let's quickly review them. First word was abstain. Abstain. Now, that means to refrain oneself from doing something or enjoying something. So, abstaining from eating chocolate. Second word was harangue. Harangue. That means a lengthy and aggressive speech. The verb to harangue someone means to lecture someone at length, usually in an aggressive way. Third word was sporadic. Sporadic. That means occurring at irregular intervals, or perhaps only in a few places. Also means scattered, or isolated. And our final word was caustic. Caustic has two meanings. The chemistry meaning, able to burn or corrode tissue through chemical action. Also means sarcastic bitter, or scathing. Now, let's test ourselves. We have four sentences. Each one refers to one of our words from today. Your object is to work out which sentence refers to which word. I'd love to publish podcasts every day of the week, but in practice, they often end up getting released in a more random, haphazard fashion. One of Stefan's old teachers was known for his cutting put-downs on students who didn't do their homework, even making a few of his pupils cry. After announcing disastrous financial results, the CEO gave a long and critical speech, angry at his employees for their presumed ineptitude. Chris was training to climb Mount Everest, and as such, decided to cut out sweet desserts and drinks from his diet. So guys, realized that this podcast ran on a little bit longer than normal, so I'll try and wrap up quickly. Thank you all for listening. It wouldn't be a podcast without listeners. So wherever you are, in whatever country you're in, thank you so much from me. My name is Sam Fold. Please find me on Twitter, at Sam Fold. Tweet at me email me sam.fold at gmail.com anything you want especially about the podcast and leave a review on the itunes page for the podcast if you can thank you so much please keep listening please get in touch have a great week bye bye